This is Tübingen in southern Germany, and its castle was the unlikely setting for a breakthrough in molecular biology. Frederick Miescher was a young researcher stationed at the laboratory here. On the advice of his uncle, he studied the cell nucleus. His experimental material was white blood cells taken from the pus-soaked bandages of wounded soldiers at the local hospital. In the nucleus, he found protein, but he also isolated another substance, a long, sticky molecule that he noted was rich in phosphorus. He called it nuclein. We call it nucleic acid. He was the first to discover DNA. This would have been remarkable enough, but Misha went on to suggest how it might be used in heredity. In a letter to his uncle, he wrote that molecules of DNA would be quite capable of carrying all the richness and all the variations of hereditary transmissions, just as all the words of all languages can be carried by just 24 to 30 letters of the alphabet. His prediction of the genetic code came in 1892, but Misha did not live to see it accepted. The freezing laboratory contributed to his early death from pneumonia, but in any case, it would be another 60 years before science was ready to accept that DNA carried the genetic code. Mm -hmm.